Okay, I have a new idea for a type of videos I want to make. A weekly report, a tier list on the anime we're watching, but this is not a weekly tier list. I'm just getting into this, and this is a tier list based on the vibes, how I'm just enjoying the show so far. There's a lot of different shows here, and we're grading it from S tier. You can see a numeric value associated with it. A is 8 to 9, 6 to 7, who really cares, and then a bunch of drops and not watching. All right, uh, not watching. Don't know. Don't know. That looks sus as hell. What in the fuck is going on here, bro? Hold up, hold up. Should I do search image with Google? I'm kind of scared. I don't want to do that. Nope. My Hero Academia not watching. Kaiju 8. Where should Kaiju 8 go? Oh, it's kind of carrying me in terms of the viewership. So I feel like I should fucking like, I don't know. I Should I? Eh, eh, eh. Listen, with the tier list stuff, the pictures will move at the end of the tier list. I will adjust the tier list as accordingly as I go with it. So if I place it here, it's not a, it's not a solid thing. Based on just vibes, this is a tier list based on how I'm enjoying the anime. I'm, I'll put it on A for now. I'll put it on A for now. That could be like right between here, like between S and A. All right. Uh, not watching Elf Bride. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, Elf Bride is so cute. The whole theme of slavery in Isekai. You know, we have an elf slave and now we have a dragon lolly slave. <laughs> It's not really slavery. I'm just memeing around. I think that this is like a B or an A. It is a nice, wholesome mix. It just changes the type of feeling that I have when watching anime. Because so far, there's so many power fantasies, so many just hype shit. And, you know, Elfbride can be hype. We've seen the combats. But I think that it's like a solid B or A for me right now. I'm enjoying it just as much. I think I'll put it for A now. Maybe B. I'm gonna put it at B. It could climb up. Nothing is final. Conan not watching. Not watching. Ho ho ho! Date Alive! Um, Date Alive Season 5. D? D for Date Alive? D for Date Alive? <laughs> date of Mid? Ain't no way! This is the anime that has saved my channel. D for Donut! That's a nice one. Mmm! Season 5 hasn't fucking clutching, bro. Season 5 with the amount of revelation, the amount of secrets that's being answered right now, it is actually blowing my mind. I feel like in terms of just pure enjoyment, why are you not fucking playing? Come on. In terms of pure enjoyment... Oh, is this the first S? Oh, mm, I, it's so much shit's happening. Like, so much shit's going down. All the girls are fucking dying. We're getting all the secrets of Rene Origin Phantom. We're getting to know how the spirit was even created. I feel like, in terms of... Again, this is not an objectively good anime tier list. This is like a vibe tier list on how I'm enjoying it. I think it's an S. I think season 5 is fucking fun. I think it's just been... Like, objectively, the writing, I don't think it's S. But, enjoyment? I think it's up there. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this one, straight to the top. Straight to the fucking top. Straight to the fucking top with Go Go Loser Ranger. This anime, straight up top three of the season. And it's crazy because there's so many different animes airing right now, right? But in terms of the overall enjoyment I'm getting from this season compared to the other season of animes, like I'm not even comparing Tensura overall. I'm comparing like Tensura season, whatever it's airing right now versus this right now. Go Go Lose Ranger is such a refreshing plot in an anime, like in, in this anime space where everything is just dominated by shitty isekais and fucking high school rom coms and all shit like that. It would definitely be A or S, but personal enjoyment, every episode has just been mind fucking me. I love the theme of just like capitalism bad. You know, it's just like the whole thing is just all products. You know, everybody is putting on a show, it's all fake, but there's like a plot and the bad guys are the good guys and the good guys are the bad guys. I think it's very interesting. I think this is a solid S. Comfortably. Dropped. Not even watching. Not watching. Captain Tsubasa? If I was watching, it would be yes. But I'm not watching this. So, not watching that right now. Don't know what that is. Don't know what this is. Baki Hanma! Um, is it actually airing right now? I'm not watching it right now. Mahoka. Mahoka straight dookie, bro. 
Mahoka is straight fucking dookie, bro. Every episode, they're just yapping about shit I don't give a fuck about. Do something, Onisama. Do something. And he did do something a couple episodes ago, right? He did the whole sparring test, the Shippo versus the Saigusa thing. That was sick. That one episode was sick. And I'm sure with Steeplechase, it's going to get even better. But right now, the overall vibes I'm getting this entire fucking season, bro. Holy shit, it is a snooze fest. And the plot's not even that good. Like, straight up, the yapping, yes, there's excessive yapping, but like Tensura also has excessive yapping. But I'm more engaged with the Tensura plot because the world building is actually good there. For Mahoka, I can recognize that the power system, the way they use their magic, the pseudoscience behind it, the, mecha the mechanisms are being in incredibly deep. But in terms of like, just pure entertainment enjoying the show right now. It's just all been set up for obviously a payoff that's gonna happen with steeple arc, steeple chase arc. So right now, this shit's D. But if it pops off, it can easily climb up to like A. I think it could be like A. But right now, it's it's just like, what the fuck are we doing? What the fuck are we doing, bro? Uh <laughs> Spice and Wolf. Why did you guys fucking bait me? They say like, oh, we'll support Spice and Wolf. We'll watch support Spice and Wolf. And, and first episode did well. Because obviously it's a fucking trend. I'm like, oh my God, Spice and Wolf remake. Let's fucking check it out. But then what matters is the episodes following. Do you guys actually give a fuck about the show? Or are you just here for the fucking trend? You guys are just here for the trend. And in order to satisfy the YouTube algorithm, in order to actually grow the channel, I must make videos that my audience actually wants to watch. And Spice and Wolf, you guys have shown me with numbers that... You don't want to watch. Ah! Uh, unnamed memories! No! Ah! Uh, oh, oh, this is a good show, too. I was enjoying the Oscar Tinasha, the native isekai time, you know, the genre, and Oscar's such a giga chat. Tinasha's great. Great grandma, witch. It's so hot. The other witches, too. They were like extracting her fucking coom and shit. It was getting crazy. And the plot was getting spicy. Cause like there's like different timelines and shit, right? I think it's hinted that there's like people as like space and time police and then they trying to correct shit in different histories, but you guys didn't really give a fuck. So I was like, all right, all right. But if I actually watched it, I think it'd be like a solid B. I think it'd be like here. Yeah, like a, like a, like a CB, CB, CB. And you know what? Let's promote Elf Bright to A. Let's promote Elf Bright to A. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push it up to A. Remember, the, the rankings on this is not final. I just move it around based on how I'm feeling, arbitrarily. My Hero Academia. I don't want to get cancelled on Twitter like Nicholas Light for saying Bakugo and Deku ships are weird, so I'm putting it on not watch because I'm not watching it. I don't know what the anime this is. I don't know what the anime this is. Bartender, I heard, is actually pretty good. I hear Bartender is like a really good anime right now, but I doubt that you guys would give a fuck about reactions. Ah. Cunny Archive. Cunny Archive. Where should Cunny Archive go? Hmm. The amount of just... <laughs> they're college age girls, but it's... I think it's like a solid B or A. It's, the, what's keeping me around is the mysteries. I haven't had like a huge, like, insane hype moment just yet. Is that a lie? Was there anything that really was hype? It's more just like funny things that cute girls are doing. The bank heist, all the different, you know, dialogue they have. Shiroku just saying she wants to rob a fucking bank. No, 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 me saying I want to fucking have a swimsuit idol gang. Like, I don't, there's some funny shit happening. It's, it's fun. It's, it's fun for sure. I, I think it's comfortably B or A right now. But I'm not going to put it up with Kaiju 8 and Elf right just yet. I think there is potential. It just hasn't shown me. And again, this is just vibe check based on the episodes that's out as of now. We're going to put that there for now. Uh, baseball anime, I bet it's good. Sports genre is one of my favorite genres, but I don't think uh, you guys would watch that. This is another shitty isekai, I think, that I was going to check out. But even my audience full of shitty isekai enjoyers were warning me, saying, bro, no, 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 no. This is like beyond shitty. Where you, it, It's like... So... Reactions, reaction content is interesting because the, the shittier the show is, the funnier the reaction could be. An objectively good anime is like Spice and Wolf or Frieden or like, let's say, uh, Ancient Magus Bride. They're objectively good written shows, but reaction content might not be that exciting. 
But then there's shows like this where it might be so fucking mid that it's not really so shitty that we can just laugh at it the entire time. Nor is it good enough to kind of glaze it. I, I think this is where this kind of lands. I'm not sure. I'm not watching this right now. I'm not watching this. Salad bowl. Ah. Salad bowl. Salad bowl. Salad bowl. First episode showed a lot of promise. But again, it's just the numbers. And my audience full of fucking etchy harm enjoyers and power fantasy people just... It, the, 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 the response wasn't there. But I did enjoy it. I would give it like a solid B based on episode 1. Like A or like... like I, it'd be like a 7.5. Like a 7.5. Maybe somewhere in between A and B. But we, we have dropped this. So it is what it is. HBK Euphorium. I hear it's a great fucking show. But I'm not watching it. Uh, don't know this, don't know this. This is the Grandpa Grandma Isekai, right? I have heard pretty good things about it, but uh, it just seems a little bit too casual in terms of the things happening. Like, it seems like a slice of life, a chill. Maybe it's like a good show, right? It's a regression? Not an Isekai, gotcha. Grandpa Grandma Regression anime. Uh, it's, it's, again, it's... I didn't check it out, so it's not... This anime... I hear that this one is basically like a murder mystery anime with the main girl that has huge honkers. Uh, wasn't really compelling enough for me to check out, so I was like, eh. Uh, this is basically a no game, no life clone? No, a liar, liar clone. And if I thought liar, liar was shit, then maybe this is even worse. I don't know. I haven't checked it out, but I'm not watching it, so I'm going to put it there. Don't know this. Viral hit! Viral hit is very interesting. Not only because it's a different type of anime, like webtoon genre anime, right? There's a new meta of, you know, not... It's, well, webtoons being animated is not new. We've had Tower of God, you know, high school of... What was it? God of high school or some shit before. But recently, they're trying to really, you know, tap into the webtoon market. Viral hit's interesting because I can relate as a content creator. All the different mechanics they talk about in terms of, like, the limited ads, the fucking... The YouTube algorithm, you know, the viewership, stuff like that behind the scenes. It actually compels me and they talk about it in such a relatable way that I'm like, this is pretty fun. So I'm going to put it like an A. I think it's like a solid A right now. Kimetsu no Yaiba. We've only had one episode. Only one episode. It's not really fair. I can't. Like, like, we're comparing all these other animes that's had like six, seven episodes. Kimetsu no Yaiba, I think it's a comfortable A. Last, like the... The premiere episode was a lot of yapping, but they were talking about the Demon Slayer mark, and we are, you know, edging into the, the end game, right, of Demon Slayer, so I, I, I am gonna put it at A tier for now. Konosuba. Konosuba? S? Thank you, Outboxer024. You figured out how to gift a sub. I saw your chat before. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I think Konosuba's an S tier for sure. Konosuba is such an easy S tier because it's a comedy anime. Like, based on the genre, if it's comedy, it should be making you laugh. It should be just more enjoyable than any other genre, right? So because it's a good comedy genre anime, it's just not even fair. It's like an easy fucking S, man. Now, talking about like what actually went on, right? In terms of the plot, the Princess Iris arc has been pretty fun. Like a whole new map, new characters, harassing the nobles, harassing our fucking, you know, Sebastian. It's Heidel, this. <laughs> and then there's a... There, there, there was a noble thief plot line, right? With the... With getting back to cheat items and the most recent Konosuba episode. That shit fucking bang, bro. Prime Kazuma taking out everybody along with, you know, Chris. That shit was fucking peak. It's an easy S. It's an easy S. Black Butler, the character that I was trying to uh, model my VTuber auditions based off of. Haven't watched it. Uh, don't, haven't watched. Danna Sama! Huh. Danna Sama is definitely between A and S. It's A and S. I. Every episode has been so good, though, right? I genuinely enjoy every ep episode. One was mid for sure. Episode one was like C or B. Episode one was like C or B. But then <laughs> Don Senri showed up and I was like, oh, oh, wait, 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 hold up, hold, hold. And then every episode beyond that, it was actually like good. Like Bali Rosa and Mao Sama, like that shit was hilarious. 
The fucking false Yusha with his crazy voice acting. Actually funny. I think it's an S. I think level two cheat again. This is an overall vibe check, like how I like having um, how I'm enjoying the anime. Easy yes, easy yes. I think it's alright. It's, it's it's here somewhere. It's here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, misfit of Demon King Academy. This is B or A so far. I think that um, Anos hasn't done much. It's been focused around the other characters, which I'm uh, not complaining about. This has been Emilia's redemption arc, and we're also revolving the story around the Hero Academy and Emilia. And obviously, we're going to handle the Anos stuff later on, right? I'm sure we're going to handle that starting from today onwards. So far, I, I think it's like a B or A, but once, you know, Anos starts doing Anos things, I think it's going to be like A. Yeah, I, it's like a solid B, I think. Mushoku Tensei. Mushoku Tensei. Ah, uh, there's too much goddamn yapping. Too much goddamn yapping. And there's nothing wrong with yapping. And this is just covering season two, part two so far. What has really happened? Marriage stuff with Sophie, just slice of life, rom-com, Norn and Aisha, start to spice it a little bit up. It's not good enough yet. I can admit that the writing, the character development of Rudy, as he encounters different situations with Norn and Nanahoshi and being able to relate to his past and then correcting them, I can admit that the writing is beautiful. But in terms of pure enjoyment, I'm just still waiting for turning point three. And it did happen. And I'm sure the later half is going to be fucking peak. Later half? Like, it's going to go here. Easy. But right now, right now, B, I think. I think it's B. And again, I can acknowledge that the anime is objectively good. Good writing. Good plot. But for a monkey like me, enjoyment levels for a monkey like me, I think it's B, man. I think it's B. I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't know what the fuck this is. Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> the anime that may have the best opening this season. <laughs> so remaster is interesting because recently I think it's C. Recently I think it's C. And I think I'll bump Mahoka to C too. I think about Mahoka to see. D is a little fucking mean. I don't think there's anything going to be in D. Well, eventually, if, I, if it's going to be relative, there needs to be something down in D. Well, no, we don't have to populate D if nothing of that value exists. I think putting Mahoka down here was kind of mean. I think Mahoka is like a C level, yeah. So, Remonster, when it was doing its crazy sussy shit with the, you know, sexual innuendos, Gobji thrusting, saying he wants a little bit of an elf coochie, you know, all that stuff. In terms of pure entertainment, it's like, oh my god, we're getting cancelled. But it was pretty fun. Like, there are S-tier moments. But recently, they have been kind of... It's been getting old. And they start to focus more on the plot, the story, which is honestly not that compelling. The world building is honestly ass because they rush it so much. And I'm sure the manga's different. I think it's like a solid C right now. They did introduce the new characters. Uh, the fucking... Uh, there's like a different, different group of factions, right? Phobia or some shit? Philip, Philip or some shit? The fight was eh. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's like a C. I think it's like a C, man. Alright. Uh, what else is there? Don't know. The, we did watch one episode of the Yuri anime just to check it out. First episode, enjoyment-wise, BA. But you guys probably didn't really give a fuck, so... Down here. It's down here. Mushoku Tensei B and Remaster S is crazy, but Remaster is S. What are you talking about? And I just explained to you full thought process on why Mushoku Tensei right now is B. In terms of the writing, it's S. But in terms of a monkey watching it, the average anime enjoyer, they don't give a fuck about Sylphie getting married to Rudy, the fucking sibling shit, the Nanahoshi, you know, the people just want unga bunga hype. Go to fucking Begari, give me turning point three, give me the fucking hype. That's what monkeys want to see. I'm talking about pure entertainment. This tier list is not based on objectively good writing. It's just about monkeys like me, vibe check. That's why you should not take this tier list seriously. 
But I bet you people are gonna get so fucking heated because they don't even understand what kind of tier list this is, bro. Eh, don't know this. 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 Appraisal Isekai? B? I think Appraisal Isekai is like a B. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not good. There are good moments. I haven't felt like a really hype moment just yet. And it's building up. Ours has finally done the tutorial shit. He's collected all the fucking starter Pokemons. And now we're going to the arc where the dad should die. And ours has to, you know, become a fucking man of the family. So maybe it's going to get better on. Yeah. 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 I want to add a new tier list here. I want to add... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, wait, 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 what happened? What happened? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I want to add a new tier list right in between here, actually. Uh, add a row below. Yeah. And this one is going to be called... This one's going to be called um, a B plus. B plus or A minus? A minus sounds nicer. A minus. 7.5. To eight. Does this make sense? It does, right? It depends if you include a bound or not. I can't believe I'm struggling this much with fucking new, new you know, categorizing. What's what? I did, Seven point nine. I, I I think it's fine. We'll change it as we go. I, I it's like it's like eight or eight. I I, I think that blue archive needs to go up here. And. Like that? Maybe? Maybe? Maybe we just make it a 7.5. Well, in between. It, it should be a range. It doesn't matter. It, it's, it's a range. But then you're going to say, we're 7 to 7.5. All right, fuck it. Fine, fine, fine. Fine, fine. This is getting fucking... We should end this setup differently. It's a first tier list. We'll figure out things as we go. We'll figure out things as we go. I'll just put a 7.5. So, just something in middle. And then we could have like a fucking... We could have like an A plus here, maybe, yeah. Maybe let's flesh it out a little bit more. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe this one could be like I don't know, A plus, which is like eight point five. Who gives a fuck about these numbers? It's just a vibe check, like that. Maybe like that, and then this could be like. Like that. No, no, no. This one needs to be like that. This could be like that. No, no, but the A looks bad then. This is a fucked up tier list. What's going to be an A plus here? 8.5. Like that maybe? We need to get rid of this, too. Something like this. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe something like this. Maybe something like this. Yeah. Something like that. Does this make sense? I think Kaiju Viral Hood, I do enjoy that more than Elf Prada and Kimetsu no Yabai right now. But Kimetsu no Yabai hasn't really had a chance to shine. So I think it's fair to put it here. I think Blue Archive is not down here. I think I do enjoy Blue Archive more. And Mushoku Tensei... Maybe it's down here? I think the writing is good enough to the point I can justify here. Yeah. I think we could do something like that. How about nine? God fucking damn it! Our All right. Here it is. What other enemies are there? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, bro. Oh, fuck. This anime is doing fucking numbers. This this anime is doing fucking numbers right now. Oh, pfft. they they are whoring the shit out of this Shota, and it's working. People love this shit. People actually love this shit. I think that enjoyment wise, like the immersion breaks whenever they start to fucking do the Shotokan stuff, but the actual art animation. 
it's really hype. It's, it's, it's extremely hype. And again, we're not talking about good writing. We're just talking about entertainment. And it, it is really fun to watch. Until it gets a bit sussy and I'm like, Ugh, it gets a little bit uncomfortable. But I, I think it's like there. Danna-sama maybe should be down here then maybe? You're right. You're right. I, I, I think something like that. This tier list is going to evolve into something monst monstrous. I, 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 as I'm realizing, people are going to start saying shit like mid S, mid A plus, mid A minus. Oh my god, we're getting to a fucking power scale in tier list fucking terminologies, bro. Uh, Pensura? I'm sorry, man. This, sh it, this shit's like between here right now. Like, I love Tensura, but like, can you justify fucking six to seven episodes of nothing? It's not nothing, though. There's a shitload of things happening. But for the average person to enjoy a show, you can't just like flood them with exposition on a light novel level. And like the elitists are going to say, you're a fucking monkey. And you're right. I am a fucking monkey. But you need to understand, for people to enjoy your show, to make it more popular, you need to cater towards the monkeys. You need to not be an elitist and gatekeep people and try to bring in a new audience. How do you satisfy new people that's like pretty casual watchers? You need some engaging shit going on, but the dialogue so far, while it is engaging and I do enjoy it, the lack of action, which is a common fucking problem that people are saying, which I think is true, like it's just not there, man. And I'm sure as soon as Hinata arrives and we do a little bit more yapping, we get to the fights, like, like, like it should be here, right? It should be at this level. It should be here, but it's just like, fuck. This season so far has been so tiring because it feels like a fucking job meeting. It feels like a homework, bro. So right now I'm gonna put it here and it sucks because I love this show, but holy fuck, the amount of yapping they're doing is just making it really hard to watch. I did love the church yapping though. The church yapping was very cool and I really love the Rotso family yapping last episode. That was fucking great. The initial stuff with Diablo of Families 2, episode 1, was good. But all the stuff in between, like, oh, it's pretty fucking hard, man. It's, it's pretty fucking hard to, like, say, I, like, super enjoyed it compared to all these different animes. That's just constantly giving us such, like, an engaging plot line that's always so entertaining and fun. Even if the writing is not on par, it's just, like, it's fun. So I'm gonna put it at C. I'm sorry. There should be a fucking yapping tier, man. There should be a fucking Y for yapping, but it is what it is. Don't know this. Don't know this. Newgate? Entertainment. Entertainment-wise. I don't really see the hype with Newgate. Newgate feels extremely mid. B? Nah. I enjoy these two animes more than Newgate, man. Newgate's pretty fucking... Eh. I don't know. I watched it for like... The mysteries of the logouts and Shini and Tierra and stuff like that. But like, do I give a fuck about the combat? No. This bro pulls out a fucking new weapon, uses a new skill that I have no knowledge about. How am I supposed to get excited about things when you don't even do the world building properly? And that's the problem with OP characters, where you have no fucking setup. The reason I can appreciate Rimuru, the reason that I can appreciate Rudy, you know, fucking what other shows is there? Uh, that's pretty much it right over here. Data Live 2 maybe. It, it, the, these shows have built up an entire world explaining the you know, battle mechanics in such full depth. And like, shows like New Gate, they just throw an OP character that without no fucking reason, there's no building and you're, and you're like, I'm supposed to get hyped that just him just, you know, just using OP skills and killing OP things. I'm like, eh, I don't care. And then you'll say, well, what about level two cheat? Motherfucker's OP too. You are right. Level two cheat, the motherfucker's OP, but the entertainment doesn't come from the hype fight scenes. There was a really sick scene with, you know, Frio, popping off, getting mad at the gin, but for the most part, I watched this for the waifus and the slice of life moments like Bali Rosa and Mao Sama and, you know, fucking Fenri saying Danna Sama and all the cute moments around that. How the fucking tomboy girl threw a fucking garden hoe and then it got amplified and killed a dragon and became a dragon slayer, right? That shit's funny to me. I don't watch level 2 for the fucking OP moments, even though they did have a really good OP moment. Level 2, New Gate, I... Eh. 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 It also doesn't have Fenris. It has Tierra though, and it has Shni. Yet they're not able to fucking... They're not able to just like captivate me the way that other animes do. I don't know, it's just... Eh. Again, vibe check. Don't know this. Don't know this. Don't know this. Skimmy Shimmel the Fantasy is in such an interesting state of affairs because... Right now when is everything that should be popping off? Yet it's not popping off. 
And you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe Newgate should be D. Maybe Newgate should be D. Skimichi Moon Fantasy is so interesting because right now in this current arc, we prepped, the whole Academy arc was good. Was it good? It was alright. But I'm waiting for like the really hype shit to happen. Terminator arc happened. Mainly with the kids. Skipped a lot of shit. I was like, alright. Okay, demons are attacking. Great, great. And then? And then? I'm waiting for Mako to do something, but every episode he doesn't do anything. They're stalling. They're fucking stalling. And I see the potential. In a couple more episodes, it's gonna be here. Easily. It should be here right now. But like... So far, has I, I'm still in the waiting lobby. You know what I mean? Like, every episode, the fucking tilt meter should pop off, but it hasn't. Like, Skimichi should be here. But it's, 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 it's here for now. Oh, yeah. The, the, the tier list will change. This tier list is a very fluid thing where I just change it off the whims of my opinion on that day. Depending on my mood, it's going to change. Don't take this tier list seriously. This is a fucking vibe tier list. I don't know this. Don't know this. Windbreaker? Pretty fucking fun. I am pleasantly surprised that Windbreaker and the amount of hype that it's bringing. The delinquent anime genre, I haven't watched, you know, uh, what's it called? Tokyo ESP or, no, what's it called? Uh, fucking, the one with Takemichi or some shit? Tokyo Revengers, right? I haven't seen that, but I, I've never, I never really watched Link with Anime, and I thought, like, what are they gonna do? And there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of gay baiting, which is kind of funny to me, but the most recent episodes, not only is the combat good, the fight choreography is fucking fantastic. The actual character backstory and the way that it contributes to the plot, like, just recently, like, Choji and Kamechan, the backstory, what the fuck? Where did that, sh where did that fucking hit me from, bro? And like apparently people are saying, bro, no, 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 just wait till Choji flashback. I think it's comfortably sitting on A+. It's really fun. And honestly, like A+, and S tier, I think they could be interchangeable. I, I think that at, at this level, like if, if, if A, A+, plus S, I, I think like, like especially A+, plus and S, I, I think easily they could just like swap here. Maybe it could go down here. I, I, I don't know. It, it could easily do that. Don't know this. Don't know this. And finally, Mission Yozakura. Nothing crazy has happened, but people have been telling me that Yozakura has not even started the story yet. So far, it's just been set up, and now we're actually going into a serious long arc for the first time, right? Therefore, it should be even better. So far, it's just been introduction of the different characters as siblings and going on simple little missions to find the other supporting characters. It's just been doing all right. It's, it's been doing all right. I, I enjoyed it, but there has not been something that really tipped me over the edge just yet because we're waiting for the first real arc to kind of pop off, right? So I think this is pretty much it at the moment. Maybe Misfit should be up here now that I think about it. I think so. Yeah. I think I'm pretty set with Newgate being D tier. D tier, I'm still gonna watch it. Y'all enjoy it. The numbers does well, but it's like personal enjoyment. It's like, it's like a pretty lackluster story with the waifus that's not really doing much just yet. We'll let it cook. It can rise up later. Where the fuck is Jellyfish? I don't fucking even know where Jellyfish went, bro. Oh, Jellyfish is right over here. Fuck Jellyfish, bro. Motherfucker, Jellyfish is causing co fucking copyright strikes right now, bro. Fuck Jellyfish, bro. Good story. Good story. Mahoka is here because uh, it's 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 just like I don't know. We're fucking stalling and stalling and waiting for the steeplechase. Once it happens, I'm sure it can rise to like here. Remonster, it's kind of fallen off. It started. It's it stopped doing sussy ass shit and it's just kind of just. Trying to do fucking battle combat in the plot, which is honestly not that compelling. It's just rushing everything. I'm like, meh. Skimichi, I'm waiting for Makoto to do something. It should go up here later on, but right now I'm just waiting. Uh, Praise Lisaka again, still just waiting. Misfit, I usually never have an idea what the fuck is going on, but Anos' lines are always funny in the Slice of Life, you know, moments. The comedy is actually kind of funny. Mushoku Tensei, Turning Point 3 waiting lobby. I already talked about Yuzakura. Blue Archive, it's cunny. It's enjoyable. Maybe it should be here. Maybe Blue Archive should be here. I'm not sure. Blue Archive is actually pretty fun. 
I think it should be at A, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe. I don't know. Kimetsu no Yaiba? Uh, first episode? Eh. I think this arc is gonna be interesting because it's like a training arc. I wonder how hype a training arc is gonna be. Maybe we'll put it here for now, just because it's an episode one. I don't fucking know. Elf Bride is very fun. I'm comfortable putting that at A. It could even be here. I, I, I... I think that anything that, like, is right above each other or below each other, they could easily be intermixed. Like, this could go down here, this could go down here, this could go up. I don't really know. Just my gut instinct. Kaiju 8 has been fucking hype the entire time. In terms of pure enjoyment. Pure, again, this tier list is just pure enjoyment vibes. Have I been enjoying Kaiju 8? Yes, I have. It's gonna go to S. Every episode has been fucking hype and it's been delivering. There's been no fucking filler episodes. It's the pacing is great. Kaiju 8, I think it deserves up there. Viral hit. It's definitely good because I can relate to it as a YouTuber and talking about different stuff behind the scenes. And I do enjoy the fresh nature of just like a webtoon genre. Seven Shota, saucy as fuck, but very fun. Level 2 cheat, Danna Sama OP. Windbreaker, I've already talked about it. Fights are amazing. And the actual character backstories now they're doing is not filler or bullshit or boring. It's actually heart touching. I felt tears almost happening, bro. Data Live is just peak alive. This season, it's unfair because like, it's, it's like four seasons of like secrets. And then the fifth season is like, here is this. Take all the fucking secrets now. You've been waiting fucking a decade for all the secrets of what an origin phantom ray name Mio is. Take it! Fucking take it! It's just like, oh, oh, holy shit! And all the girls are dying. So it's, it's kind of hype. <laughs> all the girls are getting donated. Konosuba, comedy genre. How the fuck are you supposed to beat a good comedy anime in terms of enjoyment, right? Um, it, again, Go Go Loser Ranger, the plot is unreal. I love this shit. And yeah, Tensura, easy SSS tier? I would agree if it was the Tensura that I remember from the tail end of season two. I'd agree, but we're talking about what we've seen so far of this season. And so far, it's just been fucking boring ass meetings that could have been solved with an email. I have no doubt that when Tensura starts to heat up, this shit's gonna go up here. Easy, easy. But let's get fucking real, bro. The amount of fucking yapping they're doing, are you serious? I'm talking enjoyment. I'm talking about the average monkey watching this and saying, wow, I had a lot of fun watching it rather than holy shit, I need to take fucking notes. This is fucking homework. I need to prep for the next fucking meeting, bro. That's just how I feel. And if you don't like it, go fuck yourself. Make your own goddamn tier list. This is a tier list based on my personal vibes of the anime. Not whether or not this is an objectively good story, but based purely on the episodes that's out so far as of May 17th, 6.39 p.m. PST, which I haven't even seen the fucking weekly animes today either. Tensor is going to have a hype anime to episode today, right? We're probably going to watch it. Anyways, this is a very simple tier list based off of just my vibes, just my feeling on the episode so far. And I'm going to start doing more tier lists like this. I think that like... Tier list based on like what did the best in terms of anime, like like performance on YouTube, or like what is the objectively like good written story, right? There's like different types of tier lists you can do, but this tier list specifically is for just overall vibes. And I think that each week or something, we can do a little bit like a vibe check just to see, all right, most recent episode, how'd you feel about it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. You liked it, all right, here and there. Something like that. Don't take it too seriously. It's a dumb fucking tier list from Dumb Monkey.